from Coach D'Antoni? Uh, this big thing is we walked into a boxing match and uh, we were we were soft. They just played harder than us. You go right down the stats. 23 to 10 turnovers points. They got 23, we get 10. 42 to 20 in the paint. Biggest one second chance, 21 to five. There's the ball game. And that's all hustle. That's all hustle stuff. 20 to nine on fast breaks. It's all hustle stuff. And when we came out, we were soft. You cannot be soft. We told them they would reach and they would come hard. They, you know, again, you got to, there's got to be a resolve in these kids. And, and we've been up and down with that all year. One time we'll, we'll come out with it. Next time we don't. So hopefully we learn less. You got seven days here to try to see if we can't get uh, everything right. And it's big, big prize at the end. The uh, only glimmer of a hope a little bit is we, 42-42 in the second half. We did get our shooting up 43-35 in the second half. Wasn't too bad, but uh, again, we just were soft coming out. Dan, did they do anything that maybe contributed to that, or is this more self-inflicted tonight? Well, it's not self-inflicted in that. Well, in a way, it is. In a way, you got to give them credit. They came with a mission. And they got into us. They were very physical, and you just got to you got to you got to take that as a challenge as a player. And I thought, uh, you know, Jacob's got to learn. He's got to take that as a challenge. And uh, I, I did. If you got to see a little bright spots, Nutter did try to get it up in the lane. He did pretty good getting it up in there. Uh, Nate was still strong getting it in the lane. Obina six rebounds, not enough. And he's got he's got to be more of a presence, and uh, felt like he he didn't give us all that he should have given us. Jacob didn't give us what he should. Thought Nate did okay. I mean, uh, Wyatt did okay, and and uh, 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 Kevon did pretty good. But uh, uh, again, the biggest problem was is that uh, we just were not as as intense and decisive and physical as they were. So we got to look at that and make sure it gets us better. I told them last 10 minutes, let's let these guys make us better. This is where we got to be. And so uh, hopefully we'll do that. We've got seven days. See, the big prize is still at the end of the game, end of the year. Good thing they, didn't, have to... they didn't out talent to this. They just out hustled us. And you can solve that problem. Dan, back to that kind of off and on uh, a performance. You'll have a good one and then. You tail off a little bit as a coach. How do you, how do you kind of, you know, implement that to every game to get those guys to come out? Well, I don't know. You put that on coaches. That's players that got to decide. Right. You know what? They have to decide who they are. Uh, Corny did a great job scouting them. He did a great job telling them exactly what they were going to do. Now, if you have to have a pep rally and you've got to have Kevin Costner come in the locker room and say the big speech, you know, to get you to play, uh, you're in trouble. So uh, he's not going to show up. And if, if you ask me to do it, I'm a, I'm a bad second to that. So, you know, this is up to me. We didn't need that when I played. I, I didn't need that. I didn't, nobody, nobody had to come and tell me that I'm going to lay down. You know, I'm not doing that. So maybe it's a growing experience. We'll see what happens and uh, see where we go from here. You good? Is that it? All right, fellas.